Hey folks, three new synth apps recently dropped. One of them is a Wavetable synth app, another one is for Modular, and the last one has 24 different sound engines in it. Now this isn't gonna be a full in-depth review. Instead, I'm just gonna do a quick preset demo. I kinda had these apps piling up and I wanna go like bang, bang, bang. So join me in another edition of Synth News. Synth News. Synth News. Synth News. Synth News. And also, AudioKit just dropped some new vocoder code, so I'm gonna demo that out for you. If you're a developer that wants to release a vocoder app, then this might be a good starting point. But anyways, we got a lot to cover. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you uh, just in a second. All right, so here are the three apps. We have Moo Moo Modular Synth, Elastic Oscillator, and Nikaya. All three apps are paid, but the developers were nice enough to send me promo code so that I can demo them for you all today. And of course, I'll have links to everything in the description. First up, we have Moo Moo. This is a monster of an app, and while I do enjoy modular, I often don't have the time or patience to dig into the complexity. Fortunately, this app has some presets to get us started. So that's Moo Moo. I'd like to see even more stripped down minimal presets, and the UI gets bogged down at times, but that being said, I never experienced any audio glitches or crashes. All in all, I think it's a cool app. If you're into modular, it's definitely worth a look. Up next we have Elastic Oscillator, and our homie Nutrix made a preset to demo all of the oscillators, so we'll use that to go through all the various sound engines. As you can see, there's a lot of variety here and I really love the use of the XY pads. Now that you have a feel for the sound engines, let's hear some presets.
Next we have Nikaya, a wavetable synth by Jem Olke. This app also utilizes an XY pad to change the wavetable for each oscillator. This app doesn't have built-in reverb or delay, but we can add that in AUM, and I think that's where this app really starts to shine. In my opinion, this app is best when playing a low pitch note and cycling through the wavetables. One thing I really like about this app is that it has a community tab where you can play community presets. Now I tried uploading a preset and it didn't work just yet, so maybe that's coming soon. But either way, there's a lot of potential for new content here. And now, here are all three apps together, because why not? And finally, here is the new vocoder added to the SoundPipe Audio Kit package that can be demoed in the Audio Kit cookbook. We basically have two inputs here. One is our voice, and the second one is the pitch that we want the voice to be played back at. For this example, I'm using an audio player, and I have an oscillator controlling the pitch. This is the new vocoder. This is how it sounds. This is the new vocoder. This is how it sounds. This is the new vocoder. And that's it. And remember these synth apps are not like Pokemon. You don't have to collect them all, but you do need to collect all the Pokemon. Let me know down in the comments which of these apps was your favorite and feed the algorithm. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Synth news.